by the collective efforts of our three kingdoms, the threat of Makanawa has come to an end. Yet as the moon we defended so passionately fades into the horizon, I cannot help but dwell on the unsettling truth that has been revealed to us. What is punishment enough for conspiracy to silence an entire world? Will an act of forgiveness lead to peaceful resolution? Or will it buckle under the weight of those unwilling to change? Perhaps there is no perfect answer. Nevertheless, I feel it is my duty to pursue an outcome that I believe would break the cycle of conflict that has consumed our world for generations. The atrocities of our past should never be forgotten, but neither should they be repeated. Under regular circumstances, our laws would pronounce your deeds to be acts of war, and in the former sergeant's case, treason. Such crimes would be punishable by life in prison, or even death. However, these are not regular circumstances. In light of certain facts that have been brought to light, the severity of your punishments will be reduced. I hereby sentence the four of you to six months of community service. You will remain in Shang Tu for the duration of your sentence to clean up the mess caused by your callous disregard for our property. And you better do a good job. Those fossils in the museum ain't gonna rebuild themselves, you know. As you wish. Captain Kalau will do as the Hammer of Justice wills. Well, on the bright side, I guess you get to see me more often, sis. As for your ringleader, we have found neither hide nor tail of Murga in Bakanao's wreckage. We would have offered her clemency in the same manner as you, but I strongly suspect she would not have cared for an Earth Dragon's ruling. And now I declare this ruling to be concluded. General Gong will hand out your assignments. Mira, may I have a private word with you and your friends? How fares Sash Lilac? She hasn't woken up yet. She's strong though, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's up and about in a day or so. That is good to hear. And thank you, all of you. Once again, the day is saved thanks to your efforts. Pshaw! Saving the world, no worries! Well, actually, Scary Lady here was new to all this, but we showed her the ropes. Yes, however, would I have survived without your apt tutelage? See? She even picked up a sense of humor! There is... something else. Now that we are aware of the full facts behind my people's rule and abuse of power, it would be disgraceful to continue as if nothing has changed. Which is why I am stepping down as the leader of Shang Tu. What? No, Magister, you can't! I must. If change is to happen, then it has to come from within. We will take a page from our neighboring city and appoint a new leader through free elections. In the meantime, a regent must be appointed to oversee the proceedings are fair and just. I was hoping that you would fulfill that role, Mira. M me? Uh, what? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Who's the most honorable person we know who'd protect and defend Cheng Tu at all costs? Yeah, and we have the freeze burns and jail time to prove it. Seriously, though, innocent until proven guilty next time. I... I would be honored, but surely there are others just as loyal. Perhaps. But none of them have battled a Water Dragon Centurion on a spaceship that was about to eat the moon. That is both a rare sentence and achievement. In that case, it would be my honor to accept this duty. I will not fail our people, nor leave our lands undefended. Excellent. Then I pronounce you Regent Nira Lee of Shang Tu. Woo! Congratulations, Lady Nira! 
Yeah, Major Congrats, Scary Lady. I mean, Regent Scary Lady. Thank you. But what will you do now, Magister? There is still so much history lost or hidden away by the Earth Dragons. My intention is to roam the world of Avalis to try and document what remnants may remain. But for now, get some rest, and I shall prepare what duties lie ahead of you as Regent. And he said, you're the science kid, so I'm guessing a lot, but I don't know anything about dinosaurs. I just think they're cool. You gotta help me, please. Okay, I think I got all that. First of all, let's unpack what you do know about dinosaurs. And from there, we can read up some books on paleontology. I call the big ones with sharp teeth Mega Awesome buddy Saurus Rex! Oh, dear. Science buddy? <sighs> science buddies. Something's come up! Talk to you later! Meet you at the library! Read books about dinosaurs while you wait! Okie dokie! Lilac! You guys got here a little late. She's gone off to find Murga. Oh, last of the water dragon's business? Ah, <sighs> so she's pulling a carol. I see. You guys are never gonna let me live that down, are you? Never. When do you think she'll come back? Given her inclination towards heroics, I would presume we would merely have to weather some kind of alien invasion, and she would come running back. You're not wrong there. I could put on a cape, laugh maniacally, and declare my plan to conquer the world. Please do not. Ha 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 ha! 